I'm David Story, and this is the Look News 411. Naira CEO Chris Kay says that the state health department has given the track the OK after its tests showed the water quality of the track was not at an acceptable level. The health department is still monitoring the situation, which Kay says was isolated. Now, Kay talked about the water issue during a media question and answer period Wednesday afternoon. A Warren County man behind bars in the Hudson Valley for rape and child pornography charges is now accused of hiring a fellow inmate to murder his alleged victim. Perry Pendle of Chestertown allegedly tried to hire an inmate for $125,000 to try and have the 13-year-old he allegedly abused killed so she wouldn't testify against him. The inmate approached authorities and told them of Perry's plan. The mother of a Glens Falls boy beaten to death last fall will have to wait to learn how long she will spend behind bars. The Post-Star reports that security concerns have led to Jenny Madison's sentencing to be postponed. She was to learn how long she would spend behind bars Wednesday. Madison's boyfriend Brandon Warrington was sentenced last week to 25 years to life for the beating death of five-year-old Gary Carpenter. A push by Senator Charles Schumer to have Amtrak add train cars to carry bicycles is moving forward. Schumer has announced that Amtrak has agreed to test the service later this month on the Ethan Allen line, which serves Saratoga Springs, Fort Edward and Vermont. Schumer called on Amtrak to add the service, which is popular in other parts of the country, as a way to boost tourism. Well, that's your Look News 411. I'll see you on air weeknights at 6 and 10. Look TV is on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 68. And I'll catch you back here tomorrow at looktvonline.com.